Hey guys, Jess here from Curse, and we're here still at PAX East 2013. This time I'm at the CCP booth. I've got John here who's going to tell me a little bit about the new, brand new expansion for EVE Online called Odyssey. It was just announced today. So what can you tell me about the expansion? So uh, it's going to be EVE's 19th free expansion. Um, it's going to be out on June 4th. Um, and yeah, it's basically just continuing to build on, on a decade of, of the game, really. Um, so EVE's been growing now for 10 years straight. Uh, our 10th birthday's on May 6th, which is the date we're all getting very excited <laughs> about. Thank you. Um, and really, it, it's about taking that, those, those first steps into a new decade. It's about um, really uh, going back to the roots of our game, which is very much around science fiction, you know, the big uncharted depths of space and, and the unknown and the excitement of, of discovering those things. And, and going on the journey to, to find those things either on your own with players that you meet and you team up with um, and also the dangerous side of people who are going to try and get you and, and you know beat you to the uh, to the rewards that you can discover so so it's really going back to that and making all of the content that we've had from the last 10 years that much more accessible really obvious to our players um, one of the or well, a lot of the feedback that we've had in the past has been there's so much to do in Eve because we've been developing it for a long time um, but it's so hard to get at so what we're doing is we're adding new exploration content in, which will, um, again, sort of bring that sense of wonder back. You know, you won't be able to just Google everything that you can find in EVE anymore. There'll be new things in there. But it's also about making the way that you actually get to it, the way that you can see just how busy this space is to give, you know, brand new players and experienced players, just immediately they'll know all of the things that they can do and just draw them into that experience. So it's, um, yeah, it's really going to be a, a great sort of footstep into the, uh, into the second decade of EVE. So now you said you've been uh, the game has been growing for ten years and that's got to be huge by now. So like you said, there is so much to do. That sounds great for players who've been with it for a while and want to keep exploring the vast universe. But to me, it sounds like it would be a little bit overwhelming for a brand new player to start out. Now, is this expansion going to make that more accessible, or um, is that just going to be like another update that's going to make it more accessible? Or should I, you know, am I just going to get lost if I try? <laughs> I think this is one of the big problems that, that EVE has as a game, which is it's notoriously difficult to get into. And actually the, the problem has been less um, bombarding people with, with information, but bombarding them with the right information. So uh, really what we're doing is uh, we're making it very uh, easy for new players to understand what it is they're looking at without having to go through a, a really long, lengthy explanation because that kind of thing just doesn't work in today's gaming market. So we're really looking at um, you know, adding exciting content in there which delivers on the promise that we kind of give to people when they start coming through into our game, um, but just making it very easy for them to get the right information at the right time so they're not completely swamped. We, we really want EVE to remain quite a hardcore game. We want it to be about meaningful human interactions. We want it to be all, you know, about the stories that our players create. Um, and we want you know, loss to be meaningful. We want it so that you know, if you succeed in something in our game, it really means something. And if you lose at something in our game, you, know, you feel it and you, 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 know, you, you get that sort of sick feeling in your stomach. You go, oh no, I've lost my ship. I've lost everything in it. But then you come back even more determined. We want to keep that, but we want to make sure that it's just not this impossible impenetrable game to get into because we know that that will help not just new players of which we've seen a huge influx recently but um, but also our, our veteran players as well who whilst a lot of them kind of wear this badge of honor which sort of I went through boot camp of Eve and I kind of came out the other side kind of unscarred but you know, um, whilst that's cool in some respects um, it doesn't make a fantastic game so we're, we're smoothing some of those rough edges off um, but you know as well as all of this exploration content we're also putting a lot of things in for our veteran players um, you know we've got a lot of players who've been around in the game for sort of seven eight nine ten years um, so it's important that we not only put in new content for everybody and also make it easier to access for new players but also we need to stir things up for our veteran players we need to stop them sort of getting bored and sitting back and going oh there's nothing to do anymore or it's all balanced and we've we've won eve and all of those things we need to keep those guys on their toes as well so really balancing our expansions right the way across our player base is something which is tough to do but we've had a decent amount of practice at it so. Very good. now so you guys have fan fest coming up in just about a month uh, will the new expansion be playable can players uh, demo it there so we're going to have a lot of reveals. So we're still heavily in develop right now. So, um, but 
Uh, FanFest will be where we really give that sort of hands on, this is how the game looks, this is how it plays. We'll be giving that to our fans there. Um, you know, we'll then be releasing blogs and whatever. We have about five weeks after FanFest to really finish off the development side of it. So um, there'll be a lot more information, things will be a lot more, you know, in a, in a much more stable state for people to actually play at. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it because we're going to have 1,400 of our most dedicated fans there, really to celebrate our birthday. I mean, FanFest is a, is a week before the, the actual 6th of May, 10th anniversary so so this is the great thing for us you know really hardcore fans we're gonna you know they're gonna get the first real sort of hands-on view of, uh, of of Odyssey they're gonna be able to take a look at Dust 514 or other game as well so they'll be able to see that and, and really they're gonna get the inside track on everything that's happening really ahead of anybody else well, that sounds really exciting for fans was there anything else about Odyssey that you wanted to uh, mention that I maybe didn't touch on um, Really, just that it, it's continuing to build on the, on on everything that's made Eve great over the years, but really making it sort of something something special. As, as you know, I liken it to Eve as kind of like a, a, a grumpy teenager who sort of sits in his bedroom and it's you know get, has plenty of piercings and is a bit spiky and a bit edgy. Um, you know, we want Eve to, to grow up now, and we want it to still remain you know a bit edgy, but we want it to uh, we, we we don't want it to be sort of you know, stuck in its basement being grumpy anymore. So uh, so Odyssey is really I mean. We're, we're talking about our second decade of Eve, and, and this is really our, is our first big step into that. And, and it should be a taster of more of the things to come. Great. Well, thank you so much. Once again, I'm Jess from Curse here with your PAX East 2013 coverage. This coverage has been brought to you by Alienware. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game.